Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys. So I want to come out here and talk about the whole little Boosie situation. So if you guys don't know, Boosie is not having a really good week, okay? So what went down is that basically three days ago, like I posted on Instagram, little Boosie was cussing everybody out, honey. He was in his feelings. He felt like his fans weren't there for him. You know, they sit there and they watch him clown and joke on Instagram Live. But then when it comes to putting money in his pocket and buying his music and streaming his music and buying his album, they're not doing that. He was really pissed off because he only sold a total of 300 copies of his new album. Y'all go ahead and check out his rant, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. So y'all like to see me act a fool and shit, but we gonna act a fool tomorrow. Everybody log back on tomorrow. But I only wanna see 300 people on here. The 300 people who done bought my shit. I don't mean no harm. If you ain't on this bitch, get your pussy ass off here. If you ain't support, I ain't lying. I act a fool tomorrow, now. But if you ain't support Badass 3.5, can you please ex... ex Exit my life. That's all I'm asking. I'm, that's all I'm asking. If you didn't support my album, can you? Why are my numbers not going down? Why are y'all not getting off my fucking live? If you didn't get my, if you didn't get my album, could you please get off my live right now and check back in tomorrow? I'm going to cut up tomorrow for y'all. Could you please? I'm going to show off tomorrow. But could you please exit right now? Blue Kane ain't going nowhere. He said he bought that bitch. All right, you, you stay on this bitch, dog. You stay on this bitch, dog. You stay on this bitch. If you ain't got the album, Nicole Shaw, you got the album? You said no. Well, get the fuck. Real Chris the Evans, oh, you staying on here, you buy it, you buy it, you buy it, you buy it, you bought it, you bought it. I'm a big fan of you, but you making me scared. Okay, if I'm making you scared, you're not going to be scared tomorrow. Come back on here, I'm going to have your ass laughing your ass off. But right now, shit real. You, I see you ain't buy the album, so can you please get the fuck off? I'm going to make you, I'm going to make you laugh your ass off tomorrow. But right now, can you get the fuck off, please? It's too early. It's Sunday. Go pray. He's going up. He's going up. Mar Mar fool and say he got it, bro. He got it. He got it. He got it. Nigga been rocking since the green and yellow CD came, but you can you go buy like the green and yellow CD? If you bought the green and yellow CD, hey. So that's all I'm asking. Everybody who loves to see me cut up, but don't support my music or don't support none of my business ventures I got, could you just leave off my live for the day and come back tomorrow? Because I'm going to need you tomorrow. Real shit, man. This ain't a day for this for a day for people supporting Boosie, man. If you ain't got the album, you know you ain't got the album. Just just log off, man. Go to somebody else's shit, man. You know, y'all, you should feel bad. Boosie putting you in this world all the time, letting y'all see this shit. Let y'all see how this rap shit is. And you don't even want to spend $10, $20 and buy a nigga CD. Get the fuck off my life right now. Nigga be all on live, how y'all laughing and shit. You don't even want to spend nine dollars. You don't want to buy one song for two for for one twenty eight. Get the fuck right now. But you always want to come on my live and look at me. But you always want, but you can't spend a dollar fifty on a song. Get the fuck, please. Come back tomorrow, man. We're going to cut up tomorrow. You want to watch my live? I have top live in the country all the time. So you just like to see me act a fool, but you don't want to support me. Can you please get the fuck right now? And I mean that.
Come back tomorrow. I'm going to cut up tomorrow with y'all. But right now, this day, if you know you on my live right now, you ain't got my album. Can you please? It's Sunday. Don't lie to God and stay on here like you got it. It's Sunday, man. Don't lie. Because God know if you ain't got it. If you still on here and you ain't got it, man, you're sinning early this morning, man. Get the fuck off, man. You're sinning, man. Real shit, man. You always won't be on my live. If you ain't got my album, could you please get the fuck off for today? And join again at 12, 12, 12 tonight? Off the fucking flat. If you got, if you don't have my album, can you please exit my live right now? I don't want you on here till tomorrow. I'm gonna make you laugh tomorrow. I'm coming with the memes tomorrow. But right now, this live is for only people who support Boosted Music. If you don't support Boosted Music, can you please? Can you please? Can you please get the fuck off my life? You heard me like, can you please? If you ain't got my, I know y'all getting y'all feelings. I see y'all y'all getting y'all feelings on the comments, but I don't give a fuck. That's because you ain't got it. And you like looking at me and I touch you. I touch motherfucker. Motherfucker too mad right now. That's because you ain't got it, but you love looking at me. Especially you niggas. Fuck. Nigga, you always on my live, but you don't want to go buy my shit. You must be like looking at me too. All oh, y'all women on here, y'all just like looking at me with y'all. Look at this shit. Thank you. Uh, Trev DeMar say I got mine on title. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody, thank you. Thank you. If you ain't got it, you got to get the fuck off my live, bro. I'm finna hide it from you. I'm finna hide my live from you. Oh, I got you. I didn't hear my live from you. I had to. You said you ain't got it. I had to hide my live from you. You ain't got it. Hide my live from you. You can't watch me today. Who got it? You got it? Anthony Davis said that bitch go crazy. Anthony Davis said that? Yeah. That's my nigga there. Ah. Ah. If you ain't got it, I'm finna, I'm finna block your motherfucking ass today. You ain't gonna be able to see this live. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna be able to repeat this live. If you ain't got this motherfucker, fuck that. You ain't finna look at me today. You ain't finna look at me today. If you ain't got my album, if you ain't supporting bullshit, get the fuck off my live. And I mean that. We gonna get back, you get back on tomorrow now. I'm gonna cut up tomorrow for you. All right, you guys. So you guys just saw a little Boosie ranting. He was definitely hot. He wanted folks to leave and get out his stream. And once they didn't leave, all the folks who admitted to not buying his album, they were blocked from his stream. So that entire situation was just insane. So shortly after he went on his rant about folks not supporting his music, then he went on another rant the next day about how people only support you when you're dead. You know, basically talking about the whole Nipsey Hustle situation. Y'all go ahead and check this out. A fucking local rapper right now in his city. Uh, they can have a local rapper right now in his city. Don't nobody won't support him. Man. This man got to go everywhere else. No, nobody won't support him. But let him die. They going to say he was the coldest they ever come out there city. Let him die today, tomorrow. They gonna say he was the coldest to ever come out that city. Ain't nobody won't support him. He was doing his own shit. Ain't nobody won't come to his shit. A whole city was it. But let him die. The whole city gonna say he was the coldest to ever come out our city. You know why? 
Because social media is saying every, it, it's a way. Buy his merch tape and won't buy a t shirt. But let him die and have that R.I.P. face on that motherfucker. You know why? Because you won't, you won't be seen wearing that motherfucker. You want mother motherfuckers to see you wearing that motherfucker. You trying to get, you trying to get support off his deal. But you wouldn't support him while he was here. Nigga. Bitch. Hey, you'll pass right by his merch table. You'll pass right by him selling CDs outside the club. Nigga, I got you, man. Give me $10 for my CD. You'll pass right by him and won't give him $10. But let him die in that R.I.P. shirt. You a cop, that bitch. All right, so you guys just heard his rant. So then the day after that rant, he was literally arrested in Georgia. And right now he is facing multiple charges. So what happened is this. The police are saying that they found a gun, marijuana, and more than $20,000 in his car during a traffic stop. So basically they're saying that um, Bootsy told the deputies that the reason why there was a weapon in the car is because the other guy who was with them was security and they needed it for protection. But the police, they weren't buying that. Plus they smelled a bunch of cannabis and stuff like that in the car so he ended up getting arrested as we all know Lil Boosie's a felon now he has been let out he was released on $3,500 bail but he will have to go to court a rapper who is also a convicted felon is now downplaying his latest arrest in the metro area just a misunderstanding misunderstanding yeah ain't nothing here Nothing to see here. We were the only news team there when artist Boozy bonded out of jail. And Channel 2 Tom Jones is live in Coweta County. Tom, deputies said they had concerns about their safety when they pulled him over. That's right, Craig. Uh, the deputy who arrested the rapper in this Chick fil A parking lot says his bodyguard kept moving, kept reaching for something, and that deputy later found a gun in the car. But it all ended peacefully. and. We were there when the rapper bonded out of jail. What's up, Boosie? Man, I freed you. What's up, man? Terrence Hatch Jr., a.k.a. rapper Boosie, briskly walked out of the Coweta County Jail to the cheers of adoring fans. We wanted to know if he had anything to say about the weapons and drug charges that landed him there. Just a misunderstanding. Hey. Misunderstanding? Yeah, ain't nothing serious. Deputies arrested both Hatch and his bodyguard Antonio Allen around 2.30 Monday afternoon. The sheriff says one of his deputies noticed the rapper having a difficult time maintaining his lane. All on him, he saw him weaving. He wasn't maintaining lane. He almost sideswiped another vehicle. Deputy J.D. Bugg says he eventually pulled Hatch over in this Chick-fil-A parking lot on Bullsboro Drive, and he immediately smelled marijuana. He says he found a little more than $20,000 cash, marijuana, and this handgun in the rental car. The passenger actually told him he had a weapon, and so they searched the vehicle, found a weapon, and Okay. They went from there, they found the marijuana. While Hatch says the arrest isn't serious, the sheriff says it was serious enough his deputy called for backup. Well, he had called for backup because he was already suspicious when they didn't pull over mm -hmm. a couple of places they had a chance to. And the rapper was released on a $3,500 bond. Hatch is a convicted felon after a 2011 uh, conviction on drug charges. He was released from probation in that case last year. We're live in Coweta County. Tom Jones, Channel 2 Action News. Well, Tom, speaking up, Boozy has had several legal troubles in the past. In 2011, he was sentenced to eight years in prison following a guilty plea to drug charges. He admitted to conspiring to smuggle codeine, marijuana, and ecstasy into two Louisiana state prisons. He also faced a first-degree murder charge in a case from 2009. A jury found him not guilty. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens during court. You know, I doubt he'll get any prison time, but if they want to be assholes because he is a felon, and when you have a felony, you cannot be around any type of firearms, he could end up back in prison. You know, but I just found it really strange that, you know, after he went on all these rants and was just going off on social media, he then gets picked up and, you know, jailed. So hopefully once Little Boosie goes to court, they'll probably end up throwing it out or, you know, not giving him any time. But in the meantime, you know, like he said, he needs y'all to support his music. If y'all are real fans of Boosie Badass, y'all need to go out there and stream his shit. You know, honestly, I didn't even realize that Boosie had any new music out because he hadn't really been promoting it. 
you know, I see him clowning on Instagram. He was saying a lot about the whole Jesse Smollett situation, but I didn't really see him really promoting his own music and talking about his music. So for him to get upset, you know, when you tell folks the day before I go buy my music and only 300 people show up, you can't get upset. You should have been promoting that shit like heavy, you know, knowing that you were dropping a new album. So I think, you know, some of the blame lies on Lil Boosie for him not continuously promoting his music. You know, I probably won't end up downloading it and listening to it. I just don't like when celebrities get all, you know, rude and condescending and acting like people, you know, have to run and go buy their music, especially when they're not even promoting their own damn music. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Little Boosie going off on fans and then getting arrested soon after. So go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.